This is the first of three videos that will introduce you to the basics of the First Class 12 web client. All the First Class objects that you can access are available through your First Class desktop. It's the first thing you see when you connect to your server. In this video, we'll talk about the overall desktop, opening and closing items, the home page, favorite places, the navigation bar, recent places, the preferences menu, and your profile. The desktop is divided into panes that contain different types of information. Most of the panes in the sidebar collapse and expand to reveal information you want to see. When you click first class objects to open them, they may open in the central pane, in one of the sidebars, or in a pop-up window. In pop-up windows you see resize indicators below the windows and you can drag the indicators to change the size. Objects displayed in any of these places can in turn be clicked to open them. Depending on your browser width, when you open any container, the central pane may cover the sidebars. If your window width is less than 1280 pixels, this will be the case. If it's greater than 1280 pixels, you'll see the sidebars. When you see an X in the corner of one of the panes or windows, you can close that window by clicking on that button. Objects that open in the central pane are closed using the navigation bar as we'll soon see. The middle section of the central pane shows all the conferences, communities, and other containers that you share with others in alphabetical order. This is your home page. To open one of these containers in the central pane, click it. Your home page includes a menu in the top right corner that allows you to create containers on your home page and view containers that you recently deleted. When you open a container in the central pane, it is also represented in the navigation bar above the central pane. If you open a subcontainer, the full path to the subcontainer is shown on the navigation bar. This lets you return to a container in that path by clicking it. To go directly back to your home page, click Home on the navigation bar. If you use certain containers on your home page frequently, you can drag them to the Favorite Places bar above the home page. Once there, you can drag them into any order and you can always drag them back to your home page. The containers you have most recently visited are remembered for you. To see these containers in a pop-up window, click Recent Places on the navigation bar. If you want to add an object such as a new message or a calendar event to your recent places, click the Minimize button at the top of the object's form. To remove an object from the pop-up, click the X button beside it. Recent Places provides a handy method for moving or copying items. In another video, we'll show you how you can use the Recent Places to move items from one container to another. In the next video, we'll explore some of the other objects and panes that you see on your first-class desktop.